How many times have you constructed something like this, where you have a model with a number of properties, and you have a data manager that's an observable object with an array of those models, which is initially set as an empty array, along with a number of management functions. And then you inject an instance of this manager class into the environment at the app entry point, so that you can then access that manager instance from the environment in any one of your views to present or modify the data. Well, if you inject that into the preview modifier as well, we don't see anything because in the initial instance, there's nothing to display since the array was empty by default. So what we have to do is create instances to see our design looks like. So what we have to do then is to create some objects to see what our design looks like. So what do we do? Well, we go back to our model and we generate a static array of mock data that we'll be able to use in our previews. And then in our manager class, then we can create a function that will set that empty array to mock data. So how do we use it in our previews? Well, in iOS 18, we got the previewable modifier. And we can use that to create a state property in our preview. And then we can call that set mock function on that manager instance, and then return our view with that instance injected into the environment. Nice. Well, it got even better because we can also now create a preview modifier too. And it requires Swift UI. And it's a struct that conforms to the preview modifier protocol. It has a single function called body, and it returns some view, and we can modify the content before returning. And in this mock data case, we don't need a context, so we'll just use void. And then we can apply the same preview modifiers that we use in our view here as well. And then to make it more swifty, we can create an extension on preview trait where the generic trait is equal to the preview view trait. And then we'll create a static variable called mock data that is of type self. And then the preview trait, we can assign the modifier using our mock data trait. So back in our view, then we can simply remove all of those preview modifiers and instead apply that trait. And that will be our preview trait of mock data. And we don't need that return here anymore either. Way cleaner. 